The massive hunt for the most wanted woman in the world right now. You see her here. She is called the White Widow. Authorities say she's tied to terrorism and may in fact be linked to the Kenya Mall massacre. Now an international arrest warrant is out for her. And ABC's Brian Ross is here with the very latest. Good morning to you, Brian. Well, good morning, Josh. British police today will be seeking DNA samples from the family of the so-called White Widow, Samantha Luthwaite, according to U.S. officials. The point is to see if the, the DNA matches with any of the female bodies discovered in the rubble of the Westgate Mall in Kenya. Overnight, police around the world received the official Interpol Red Notice, a global arrest warrant for the 29-year-old Luthwaite, now one of the most wanted women in the world. Samantha Luthwaite has been a wanted person for, for a number of years now. Authorities in Kenya have no hard evidence of her involvement in what happened here, but they are seeking to see if she was involved in the brutal attack. Based on her known ties to African terror groups and eyewitness accounts that a woman, a mystery woman, was part of the attack. She looked like a woman. My, my initial, my instinct right away was as a woman throwing a grenade at us. Counter-terror experts say Luthwaite has been actively involved with the Al-Shabaab group, which claimed responsibility for the mall massacre. She wants to die um, or martyr herself on behalf of that group. Luthwaite grew up in a small town north of London and over 15 years time went from schoolgirl to party girl to wife of one of the terrorists who carried out suicide attacks on the London subway and bus system in 2005. After the attacks, Luthwaite, the mother of two, denied any knowledge of her husband's Al-Qaeda ties and family friends said she was a decent girl. Very innocent, lacking confidence, shy, very easy to get on with. But since then, authorities say Luthwaite slipped out of England with her children and joined up with the African terrorists, traveling to Kenya on a Ford South African passport under the name of Natalie Faye Webb. Luthwaite has been wanted for more than a year now in connection with another Al-Shabaab attack on a nightclub in Kenya, and the Interpol Red Notice today reflects an urgency to find her, whether she's involved in that mall attack or not. Josh, you'll be on top of it, Brian. Thank you for that.